Hey everybody, it is your girl Sincerely Dre, and I'm back today with another video. by the title down below this is my what's in my caddy video so if you guys don't already know I do live in community style housing which means that I share a room with somebody and everybody on the hall shares the same bathroom so we have like a whole lot of stalls in there so you can shower and for using the bathroom of course not what you sink so like if you like your morning routine and all that let me know down below if you guys want a morning routine a night routine I'll do that for y'all so y'all can see like how it actually is to be in a community style bathroom it might be a little weird though because you know other people are in the bathroom too but i'll probably do that like a time where nobody else is in there so i just want to get right into the video and show you guys what's in my caddy what my caddy looks like everything that's in it and yeah so let's hop right into it so what does it say this is my shower caddy so I'm not sure if I put this in like the dorm hall video or anything, but this is my shower caddy. It is a purple, regular, you know, like utility looking shower caddy. I got this one instead of like the bag cloth one because not all showers have like something for you to hang your stuff on. And this is really good so everything has its place. The cloth ones, they don't have that much storage like sections and I just like this better. And you know, community showers are disgusting. So of course, if you have that cloth, it's gonna collect a whole bunch of like nasty bacteria and stuff, and you're gonna have to end up. Hopefully, you would end up having to like wash that, take everything out, and wash it. But this one is easier because like it could just be like wiped off or whatever instead of it collecting all those disgusting bacteria and stuff. So in here, I have like four little sections in my caddy i'll start on this side and i'll go over because this side is more like what i use twice in a day and all that with like my face washing stuff and this side is like my in the shower type stuff so we're gonna start with this side so on this side i have my speaker because like i said community style showers and bathroom and all that it's not the cleanest it's not the best or whatever or like the people the people do clean it let's not let's not get me wrong the people do clean it. it's just that you know when there are multiple people in there it gets dirty so the way that i like to make it like more of an enjoyable experience and not something that i'm super mad at super mad about is i play music while i'm in there i don't care who's in there if i'm in that bathroom i'm playing music i'm blasting music whatever because i want to make it feel better and not feel like oh my gosh i'm in this disgusting bathroom so yeah this is what i use to bump all my music to and then the next thing is i have four different face washes right here because i'm like in the search right now for what works best for my face i've always used like different products but i haven't gotten like a really good skincare routine together so I'm just trying different things I don't use everything every single day I just use it based off of like when I feel like I need it so the first thing is the Bior charcoal face wash I've been using this for a couple years now it like my face when I was back at home it's I feel like it's kind of different than what I'm than what it is right now because like this works my face was pretty good in high school but now it's really different so i don't know i use every now and then that's why like it's not used as much but i use every now and then so yeah i use the be your charcoal face wash and then the next thing is i have liquid black soap i heard black soap is really good for your face so i wanted to use it but i didn't want to get the bar soap because you would have to like chop off the weird pieces and there's no like space in here for that to where i know that it would stay clean so i got the liquid black soap right here I use this a lot but like it does last you so yeah the next thing I have is the Alba Botanica acne dope it's a deep pore wash and I got this because I what I 
I sample products for companies or whatever. So they send me their products and I give them back like my feedback, how I feel about it, all of that. So I've been using this. I saw really good like results from it when I first started using it, but I don't really know if it still works the same way now. I don't know, cause I was starting like a whole lot of products at the same time. So yeah, it's cool. I'm still trying to figure out if it's like the best thing for me or not, but yeah. I use this as well. It's another good face wash. The black soap, if you use this, like your face feels squeaky clean. But yeah. And then the last face wash that I have in here is my Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. I'm not, I've been using Clean and Clear for a minute now, and I did use one of their exfoliating scrubs before. I'm not sure if this is the same exact one because this one does kind of look different from the one that I used to use when I was in high school but it still does the same exact thing. It's just used for exfoliating and all that. So it works pretty cool. The next thing is right here, they're like these two little sections right here. And in this front part, I keep my toothbrush, of course the cap on it because like I said, disgusting and like the germs and bacteria when people sneeze, cough, all that. So it's covered right here. This is my toothbrush. And then I use, of course, toothpaste. I have the Colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening toothpaste right now. I mean, I brush my teeth every day, so <laughs> that I just keep it right here. Now, the next section back here in the back, I just keep little feminine products, little pads right here. Sorry if that was too TMI for the guys, but I keep it right here just so you know. If I go to like the bathroom and I forget one or I need it, it's right here. Cause I take this with me whenever I go to the bathroom, of course, like in the morning and at night. So everything is right here. Or if I'm just going to the bathroom real quick throughout the day, this sits on my counter as you guys saw in the room tour. And I could just, okay, boom, get it and just go. Instead of having to go all the way up to where I keep everything and having to get stuff out of there. So that's that. And the last part of my shower caddy I keep my spin brush. My sister got this for me for Christmas and I really liked it. Not still not sure if these stuff work if this type of stuff works as well. I know a lot of people said this stuff works to really scrub off all that dirt on your face and stuff that collects throughout the day, especially because I work out and I like do different practices and stuff where I'm sweating like every single day. So this really works as well. I use it every now and then. I stopped using it because I thought my face was starting to like get a little bit too sensitive and like I don't know it was just I don't know but I use this every now and then now if I really want to get like a really good wash in so yeah that's that um the next thing is I have my Dove body soap I keep a big one and a pump one for two reasons I keep a, I get a big one just to like of course save money and the bigger you have it the more I don't have to like keep going out to the store and buy more soap so I just have this big one that will last me for a good amount of time because I pump a like I pump a whole lot of soap when I'm in the shower. So this stuff does last you because it's a really big one. And I keep a pump because, like I said, when I'm in the shower and in that nasty stuff, I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to get out. I'm not trying to have to like scrub or like open stuff up. None of that. So that's why I keep this. So it's like a quick pump, pump, pump. Let's keep going about our life. So that's just a little hack a little shower hack um the next thing that i keep in here is my shaver of course or whatever in the world you want to call it but i keep this in here i keep the cap on it too because i don't use it every single time i go to the shower of course so i keep the cap on it just to like save from all sorts of dirty stuff because you know you do put this on your body and stuff so yeah just a regular little shaver whatever and the last thing that I keep in this area is my shower cap. This is a big one right now because as you guys can see, I have the twist in. Before this, I had braids in. So like my hair has always been like really long and stuff as I've been through school. So I got like a really long shower cap. Like this is long, long. I folded it up because sometimes it's just a little too long. And like you can't really wash your back properly with it all out, but like, it's a really long shower cap and you could just put it fits all your braids into it and then you can tie it up with this little area as well to make sure that it stays on 
I really do like this because this little elastic band right here, everything will stay on, trust me. So, I keep that in this little area as well. And that's about it. That's what I keep my shower caddy, just a nice quick video. Um, sometimes, like, of course, other stuff may be added in here. So, like, if I'm taking, well, I always take my key out with me. So, when I take my key out with me so I can, like, get back in my room, I keep it in here as well. And this is just what I keep my shower caddy. Nothing too big, nothing too crazy, nothing too out there. When I take my towels, of course, that goes in my hand. So, it's not, like, in the shower caddy. But just let me know if you want to see any other videos regarding, like, how to survive with community-style bathrooms. If you know me, you know. I do not like dirt, I'm a germaphobe. I do not like that sharing stuff with people. So having to be in the little community style bathrooms has been like an adjustment for me. And something I've had to learn how to like get through and get past and learn how to like do it the best. So if you guys wanna know more information about that with my morning routine or my night routine or like just how to survive it completely, tips or hacks with it, let me know and I most definitely Start to crank out those videos closer to the summertime for you all but this is what i keep in my shower caddy um if you guys have any questions comment those down below if you like this video or if you liked anything i shared with you if you like just like what i keep or like if you use some of the same exact stuff that i use make sure you comment that down below make sure you like the video subscribe so you can see more videos that i'm gonna be posting and uploading and make sure you share this video with a friend as well to help them through their college experience and i love you guys so much y'all college has been something it has been something but you guys will get some videos on all of that later on so as you guys know this is your girl sincerely Dre, and i will see you in the new video Bye.